<laughs> hey everybody, Joy here. I'm making an introduction. <laughs> Today is Thursday, September 23, 2021. And I guess it was two days ago, I made another video in our RV. And I kept trying to make it and somebody kept showing up. I have decided the way to get the people to show up to come fix stuff in your RV is to try to make a video because then they show up one after the other, after the other, after the other. Knock, 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 knock. <laughs> so I wasn't able to really edit it at all or do a beginning or an end or whatever. <laughs> so we're gonna start right here and I'll just show you the clip I made the other day because some of you asked me to show you more of the RV. So right here. Okay, so here is my amazing tripod. <laughs> a roll of paper towels with a little basket on top and there's some magnets and some chocolates. <laughs> so I put my phone down in there and then it can see me because I don't have, I have a tripod in here, but it's for my other camera. So some of you asked me to show you some more stuff. So I'm going to show you some more stuff. My tripod's probably going to be in the way. Somebody said, your table looks crooked. Well, I don't know if the table's crooked or not, but that's it. And it's holding my sewing machine up and it doesn't have any legs. It's very, very heavy and it's just held up by whatever's underneath that counter and the view here is just lovely it's it's a rv on that side and a rv on that side and rvs everywhere oh tired of being here in this lovely lovely view <laughs> so here's the tv in the corner these two folding chairs are actually extra chairs that you were supposed to use if you wanted to have four people at the table, but I got rid of the fancy chairs. We put them over in our attic or Jerry's barn or somewhere because I like these much better. They're smaller, they're easier to move, and they're comfortable. So I use those chairs in here. So we are back with the baggy system, the baggy quilting system this morning. <laughs> And I am sewing J and K triangles together, 48 of them. So that's what I'm up to this morning. And so you can see, I've got my uh, sewing machine here. There's the TV. I've got the sunshade screens down. And somebody said, show us your kitchen. So the kitchen has my tripod sitting up there. <laughs> Here's the, uh, Jerry and I finally opened this the other day for the very first time, last night actually. There's a really nice bed in there that you blow up with air. It's really nice. <laughs> we were really surprised. And um, there's the little kitchen. Little being the key word on the kitchen. You know, let's take the tripod down for a minute. That's not too pretty. <laughs> so there's the little kitchen. Oh, get your hands out of the camera, Joy. There's the little kitchen, and we bought this thing separate. So the kitchen has two sinks, but I just keep this in there all the time because it has holes in it, see? So the water runs right through it. So I just put my clean dishes in there, and um, I leave it there all the time. There's also two, of course, um, covers for the sink, so that can just be solid countertop. And I've got my little cookie jar, my toaster, my coffee pot, and other little things that we use to have our breakfast. This opens up to get to the stove. Three burner stove. This can come completely off or you can just fold it up out of your way. No oven in this one because this thing up here is supposed to be a convection oven, whatever a convection oven is. I think Jerry's coming back. No, that's another RV. <laughs> And so then here's the little potty. Little being the keyword on it too. Oh, I don't want to turn the camera. I'm gonna to have to edit this. Fan in the ceiling, a sink, all our stuff. A bathroom's a bathroom, no big deal. And then you all know about the bedroom. Here's the bedroom. Let me turn some lights on. We really like the, uh, the accent lights they're called. I really liked them in the other RV too. 
So this is our bed. It's a king size bed and I bought a topper. It's got a Tempur-Pedic topper and the bedspread, I don't have my quilt done yet. The bedspread is one I bought from my mother when I was taking care of her. My mother loved these um, candle wicking kind of bedspreads. And so I think we paid about $200 for that. So it was all wrapped up, up in a closet. And I went, oh, why don't we use this? It's not for a king bed, it's for a double bed. But in an RV, you don't want a king one because you're not hanging it down to the floor. So I think it's really nice. I'm enjoying it. And then here's our closet. Two doors in the closet, stupid mirror, because the only way to see in it is to stand here. So you can only see yourself from here up. So I think that's dumb. There's where the washer and dryer go, but we're not putting a washer and dryer because it's wonderful extra storage. There's another TV. We haven't even turned that on to see if it works yet. <laughs> There's a lovely RV out the window. You know how I put the holes in my towels. So the bathroom was so little, I had to find another place to hang one of the towels because we like big towels. So that's hanging on one of the embroidered holes I made. You can see out there. Did you see I named it? I named it, aren't you excited? <laughs> I'm sure you are. So the bathroom closes like that. And the bedroom, come on door. Uh, the bedroom can close like that. So see, now the bedroom is a secret and nobody knows it's there and the refrigerator's just a refrigerator. That's the bathroom door. I don't even know what that is. And then there's chair number one, chair number two over there by my sewing machine. A little tiny kitchen, which is all we need. I do just fine with it. And um, the couch that's also a sleeping sofa. And the two chairs, the two driver chairs up there turn around. And my chair is a recliner and so you can put your feet up, you know, and Jerry's doesn't recline, but they both turn completely around. But we don't use them for anything unless we're going somewhere. Okay, so that's it. It's just a baby house is all it is. It's kind of a bedroom with a little sitting area next to it. And I'm making this on my phone because I don't know how to get the video off my phone and into my computer. I'm sure there's some kind of a wire you can connect your phone to your computer with, but I don't, if there is, I don't have it. So I'm using my phone to finish this video. I'm getting ready to make another video on a brand new, super exciting fall project. I have a new friend. I've told you about her. Her name is Avandra. And it's actually all her fault. It's all her fault. I'm taking no blame for it whatsoever. <laughs> I'll ask her permission to show you a picture. If she gives me her permission, I'll show it right here. So anyway, she showed me that quilt and I went, oh, I just love the pumpkins. I love the fall colors. It's so cute. <laughs> So uh, I decided that I need to make a fall quilt. And I just thought about it. She showed it to me yesterday, I think it was. And I thought about it and I, I thought I have tons and tons and tons of fat quarters, of uh, fall colors, but they're all cottons. Uh, that didn't matter to me at first. <laughs> I just thought, oh, I have all of those fall colored fat quarters. I have a picture of that too, right here. Now I bought those 15 years ago, 15 years ago. They were so much cheaper than like a dollar and a half for a fat quarter, what are they, $3 now. So I have all of those because I started my quilting life making a fall quilt. I don't know if y'all remember it, but it was fall fabrics like those, six inch squares with a solid six inch square. And mine was purple with fall colors. And I chose purple because in my fall fabrics, there was a lot of grapes and um, fruits and stuff. And there was a lot of purple in it. So that quilt's around somewhere. If I can find it, I'll show that to you right here. So as I always do with a hobby, <laughs> whatever they have 
have to use for it? Well, I have to have it, of course. I used to do cross stitch and I had to have every single color of the little string that you use to cross stitch. When I gave that all, I had books, oh my gosh, stack of books this high with patterns in it. I had all the string all cut and tied in this folder. Oh, gave it to the Goodwill. Somebody got a really, really good deal there. So anyway, I kept buying fall fat quarters. <laughs> I just kept buying them and buying them and buying them. And long after the quilt was done, I kept buying them, buying them. <laughs> so, turns out I'm not even going to use them. Because I went to a Missouri Star Quilt Company accidentally this morning. I accidentally went there. And um, I thought, oh, I wonder if they have any boutiques in fall colors. <laughs> That's a big duh. <laughs> So I started finding these beautiful petite 10 inch squares. And then my lightning fast mind thought, oh, I could make another Jeffrey quilt in fall colors because it was fast and it's easy. So I started putting fall 10 inch squares in my basket. And so then I thought, well, I better tell Yvondra about this. <laughs> so I texted Yvondra and I said, look what I'm getting. I'm gonna make another quilt, blah, blah, blah. And so then she said, well, I wanna make it too. <laughs> So we both bought the same things and we're going to make a fall fabric quilt like out there, you've seen it a million times, um, Blues for Jeff. And so we're gonna make a fall version. So if any of you wanna play with us, buy yourself some 10 inch squares, a solid color and fall colors. And what you do is you put a 10 inch square down, you put another 10 inch square on top of it, you, so across the diagonal, quarter inch, draw a line from one corner to the other corner. So a quarter inch from that line on each side, you got half square triangles, make like a thousand of them, and you can make a quilt with us. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I've got to close this out because I've got to do it on my phone and I'm horrible with that software. <laughs> but I'll be back soon. Bye for now.